So today, I'm building the sidewall roll-ups. Roll-up mechanisms, the conduit, whatnot. The same thing I did on the patch, only this time it's with uh, plastic instead of hail net. What I did on the patch, and it worked very well, is to take um, half inch EMT conduit, metal conduit, and then get half inch PVC. The important part is it's the SDR, SDR 13.5, because you want really a thin wall. If you go with the Schedule 40, it won't clip onto the, onto the conduit. So the idea is you rip your piece of pipe, not quite in half, I'll tell you exactly what it needs to be so that it'll clip onto that pipe like that. So the plastic clips right on the conduit and it holds pretty tight. And if you don't, if you're a little scared of that, you can put a screw in it too. But I tested it out. I cut, I set my table saw at 5 eighths of an inch and I cut that and it clips on but it clips on real easy and when you have the plastic in there it spins pretty easy. So I said that's probably not enough. So then I went up to 11 16 and it's good except for it creates a real sharp edge in here and when I tried to put the plastic, clip the plastic on, it tore the plastic. Now that's fixable right? I could go in there and file the edge of this after I cut it but I've got a lot of this to do. So I'd rather not have that step. So I went middle of the road, which is halfway between 5 eighths and 11 sixteenths, which would be, what? 10, 21, 30 seconds maybe? Yeah, 21, 30 seconds, which the saw doesn't go to that, but you just put it right in the middle. And I ended up with this piece, and it is almost too sharp, but it doesn't tear the plastic, and it clips on a little tighter. Like I said, you can put a screw in there if you want. They said three quarter inch conduit is good for 300 feet. So I'm doing 100 feet with a half inch. I think I'll be all right. So let's get to cutting here. Now instead of uh, setting up a different saw, I'm gonna lop these into six inch sections so that I can spread them out. They don't, it doesn't need to be solid. That would be way, way overkill. Six inch chunks, I plan on putting mine every five inches. I mean, every five feet, sorry. But if that ends up not being enough, you just go get another stick. You put them at four feet or three feet. You can close them, get them closer without wasting all that time doing the whole thing with plastic time and money. So the conduit couplings are good in a sense, but I don't really trust that they're going to dimple the conduit hard enough to keep it from twisting. They'll keep them from pulling out it's the same in theory, but I still worry about it. So I got these eight, these number eight by a half self-drilling screws. And it's twofold. I take the set screw out of the coupler. And these things have kind of a more round head, the set screws, or the uh, self-drillers as opposed to the originals. And they're a little lower profile plastic's going to be rolled up on this and we don't want high spots and low spots. We're going to have them, but we don't want them if we can help it. So those number eights go right into that deal and with a little bit of force, they'll thread right in. And there's just enough 
of the drill tip sticking out that it'll drill through the conduit and it should set normal. So we thread that on there, or slide it on there I should say. There's a couple ways we can do this. We can That one's gonna work even better. I was gonna mark it and then pick, take the coupling off. That thing is in there. It's going nowhere. That's perfect. All right, so we went through the hassle of getting the plastic pretty level with these seams. So the bottom of the plastic should actually be pretty close. If we line it up at the bottom of the plastic, when we roll it up, it should be pretty level in theory. How they say it in 10 cup, perfection is unattainable. They're right, let's get it close. All right, it's all together, it's all done. I hooked this drill up to it. I rigged it up with a hole saw and a screw through it. Really rigged. I don't know if I have enough battery to do it with this drill, but we're gonna give it a shot. I don't know if it has enough torque either. This is, I'm hoping to run this with a drill eventually. All right, let's do it. Oh Lordy, look at that. charge this but I think it's gonna work swimmingly put the conduit in they're still rolling up a little unequal but I'm running out of daylight and I need to get these things secured so that the, they don't blow in the wind and when it was just plastic it was okay but now that it's got the metal it'll beat the crap out of itself that's where the rope comes in and those eye bolts down there that eye bolt every other bay and then so it skips two bays, skips one bay, then skips two bays, skips one bay. And I'm going to have rope that's on diagonals going from eye bolts to wiggle wire. This is going to be a challenge, I think. We'll see what happens, but... Take our rope. It's going to go in like this. Skip the bay. It's done, baby. Both sides. Look at that. Ropes are on. They're not quite as tight as I'd like, so I'm gonna have to do do some adjusting. But they'll still hold the sides from blowing out, and that's the whole idea. It is time to put on the roll-up motors. We got the little coupling that came with them on there now. Came with a blue bushing for the half inch conduit instead of three quarter. And I've got the greenhouse motor, the roll up motor with a homemade creeper that I'll probably have a video coming out about how to build this. You can buy these for 40 or 50 bucks a piece. I spent about 20 on this one. Not as pretty, but should be as functional.
thinking that's going to be quite delicious. I got to get a bunch of lock washers and whatnot to put on there to make sure that those bolts don't come undone. But overall, I think it'll be all right. Uh, next thing is I need to get power supply out here to test it. There will be a video about this thing too, coming up. It's the control unit for this. It's only partially wired, but these are 24 volt motors. The only drive I have to run them is this, which sucks. here <clears throat> goes up really slow to roll nicely. It's beautiful. It's real nice so that when I get it set up with these controls, I'll have it run for, say, a minute. It'll run up, you know, a couple revolutions, about a foot. Then it'll wait and it'll do it again every five minutes or so check the temperature and just keep rolling this up as necessary to keep it cool enough in there. like it's going to work. And uh, that is fantastic. I don't have one though. Got to make another creeper for the other side. <clears throat> this will be ready to go.